I talk for the press. Well, my people, me here for drop the real news, you know, news reviews, everything in a one right this or right there, my people. So all I want enough to do is like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to my channel, my people. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get right into it. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. A blessed, a blessed good day to you, my wisdom warriors. Wagwan, wagwan. I'm back again with another video. Well, Prime Minister Andrew Holness, welcome global humanitarian and peace envoy, Guru Diff, Siri, Siri, whatever we want him, Shanka. Let me just call him Shanka, yeah? This is Andrew Holness, spiritual healer, my wisdom warriors. <laughs> because he have to be him, spiritual healer, not Jamaican people own not the PNP own. Anyway, so Shanka went to Jamaica House on Friday morning discussing the vital link between peace and prosperity. Prime Minister Holness emphasized where there is peace, there is prosperity. Wanna hear that? And your wholeness emphasize where there is peace, there is prosperity. Uh, Shanka him a fella, you know, and him was saying, no peace. No in a fame party. Him know that, you know. Say no peace is not in the Jamaica Labour Party. Every day they jump up and talk about prosperity. But them not have no peace. There's no peace there. You understand? How him fi, how him fi have peace when he have 28 account? Charity money I go south. Taxpayer money I go west. Hey, my wisdom warriors. No, sir. Something not right. But guess what? There's something me want to show. Oh, no. This is why me I bring this up back, you know. Mm -hmm. Something me want to show. Oh, no. Because me catch it. Me did show you know, before. A good while now. I me say, no, uh, me go show you know, it again. So, Shankar Renown, the promoting holistic health practices and global harmony, is set to deliver two public talks in Jamaica, hosted by Art of Living Jamaica. Kingston, December 12, National Indoor Sports Center at 6 p.m. and Wana Mantigo Bay, December 14, at the Convention Center. My wisdom warriors, take a look at this. Peace and prosperity, they go together. When there is peace, there is prosperity. And there is prosperity, peace will start to come. Honorable Prime Minister recently visited India and has just come back to his own roots, his own source. And India always considered the whole world as one family. And in Art of Living, we have always thought and uh, spoke about the world as one human family. Welcome to Jamaica, Gurdev Sri Sri Ravi Chanta, a globally renowned humanitarian, spiritual leader, and a peace ambassador whose work has positively impacted millions across the world. His visit reflects our shared commitment to fostering peace, unity, and social development through compassion and service. Through the Art of Living Foundation, Gurudev has championed personal and social transformation, focusing on mental wellness, stress management, and community uplift. Here in Jamaica, the foundation has supported over 3,000 inmates through its prison rehabilitation programs and has worked extensively in inner city communities, schools, youth and corporate entities, promoting emotional resilience and positive attitudes. Where there is peace, persons are more productive. And when there is greater productivity, there is more prosperity. And when there is more prosperity, there is more peace. Where there is more peace, there is more productivity. And more productivity brings more prosperity. And we want to bring Jamaica into this virtuous cycle of both personal, community, and national development.
So my wisdom warriors, who don't see what I go on, apparently, and you want to bring him our art of living, what they want to call themselves, bring this man to Jamaica, yeah? For bring peace to the Jamaican people. The first place Andrew Wallace bring him are in a prison. The first place Andrew Wallace bring this man are in a prison, my wisdom warriors. But guess what? There's something else I want to show you. Know? So I want you to know, follow you. Know? I want you to know, follow and listen keenly. Take in this. My daughter recently said she is attracted toward the same sex. And this has really shattered me. How should I handle this? Handle with care. Accept her. Your daughter should not feel rejected. Give her love. See her beyond that and understand what she is going through. She has gone through quite a bit of churning from within her. And finally, she garnered the courage to tell you. Now, don't show her that you are shattered. We live in a different age. Every parent dream to have their kids married and continue the family tree. This is quite natural. But what is most important for you is the happiness of your children, right? So give preference to that and handle them with love and care. Make sure that they don't feel rejected by you because of their preferences. My daughter recently said she is... So my wisdom warriors, when I hear what this mania promote, Mm? Only hear what the, the only hear the question what the man asks him. Mm? Only hear the question what the man asks him. Listen again. Listen. My daughter recently said she is attracted toward the same sex, and this has really shattered me. How should I handle this? Handle with care. Accept her. Your daughter should not feel rejected. Give her love. See her beyond that and understand. My wisdom warriors. Only hear the question. Mm? I want to hear fame answer. A them a type of people yeah, and you want to bring in our country. I want to see which part him bring him first in the prison. Mm? I wonder if he might go bring him to the school them. I want to stay there. Parents, I to better watch out. I to better watch out. This man is telling people it is okay. It is natural. And it is okay to be gay. Mm. My wisdom warriors, I don't know what else to say. Seriously. And you won't let's forget to talk about the party we him promote. You forget, you know? You forget when in the pan public platform I talk about peace and prosperity. You know, member. You know, member nothing for bring up this party. Only things that we are idiot. Listen, as I said, I may always say it, I don't business what a guy want to do. But when you push on things from Pitney, if Pitney come to Uno and I tell you this and that, you know, how they have feelings for, for other woman or they have feelings for other man, sit them down and tell them, say, that's not right. And that you have to do, you cannot tell them, say, tell him, say, handle with care, don't reject. The, what? I want to up to, I want to really have deal with. What we not deal with? Eh? What we not deal with? We not teach the kids them that it is okay and it is natural to feel that way. You know, no natural to feel no way. We not stop telling them lie. My wisdom warriors, uh, that me did want to show you. Mm -hmm. That me did want to show you. So when you see them, I bring them a type of people, yeah. Listen, style them under. Wanna hear me? Don't forget, Sir Christopher Tufton, the health minister. Remember, sir, they did, they did um launch an app. Remember the app where they launch and the parents them find out the amount of things them where the picnic them a get up to pan the app. Wanna remember? And the parents them ball out and say they feel remove the app. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Jesus. We have to read between the lines, parents. Be more involved in our picnic life, especially school. Yeah, one of a check. Mm -hmm. One of a check and talk to one of the seriously. But I'm going to leave this one up to one. One tell me what one think below. Put on an honest opinion in the comment section. Because I want to hear one of views, my people.
I definitely want to hear phone of yours on this. Anyway, I have a piece of attack claps because big, big strike a going down a Kingston Freeport Terminal, my wisdom warriors. Between me and Uno, strike tension mount at Kingston Freeport Terminal. A potential strike is brewing at Kingston Freeport Terminal as labor relations between management and union representatives have reached a critical breaking point over a long standing job evaluation dispute that dates to 2020. Protracted job evaluation dispute. The job evaluation process, which began in 2020, has finally concluded with findings that were intended to provide a fair assessment of worker roles and compensation. However, the terminal's chief operating officer, Carlos Cabrera, has reportedly refused to honor the official results of these findings. Management controversial communication strategy in a controversial move on Friday, December 13, 2024. Cabrera released a video message that union leaders argue is a deliberate attempt to mislead the workforce and undermine the job evaluation process. The video appears to be an effort to persuade the workers to accept a one off payment while circumventing the legitimate outcomes of the job evaluation. Union takes decisive action in response to management intransigence. The union has issued a decisive 72-hour ultimatum late Friday evening. The union is demanding the management return to the negotiation table with a reasonable and fair offer that respects the job evaluation. So my wisdom warriors, I don't understand why the employer them, they don't like for peer. How do like when people come out in the workplace and walk, 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 walk? But who don't like for peer them? Who don't easy? Eh? Who don't easy? I don't understand this, this, this thing. I'll, I'll don't guess I know. This Freeport, Kingston, Kingston Freeport Terminal. Eh? Just imagine everybody, they pan strike and people stop work. What would that happen? You see, these management, they're not thinking, my wisdom warriors. Them all for themselves. Them all for themselves, my wisdom warriors. Guess what, my wisdom warriors? The chief operator, the terminal chief operating officer, Carlos Cabrera. I don't know if it, I call that the last part, they're good. Yeah, but the chief operator, he released a video message that union leaders argue is a deliberate attempt to mislead the workforce and undermine the job evaluation process. I have the video right here for now. So my people just sit back, relax, take in this. Good day, KFTL team. Uh, I wanted to take the time to update you on what is the current state of the job evaluation and what is the current offer that the company has put up. As you know, we have been uh, in several meetings, negotiations, uh, we proposed up to a 60th percentile, but what that creates is uh, some people benefiting from the job evaluation, some others don't. So we have to figure out how we do it in a better way. How do we implement the job evaluation where everybody wins? Because that is the ultimate uh, goal from, from KFTL. So, like I said, the previous proposal was a 60th percentile applicable to staff uh, that has been here on uh, January 2024, uh, but it would only benefit around 21% of the positions, and, and that is not what we're uh, looking for. What we had done in the past, offer a three-week bonus for all of those that didn't get anything from the salary. So as a conclusion, benefited 100% uh, of the staff with regards to the bonus, but the salary, almost 80% didn't get any out of it. So we are changing the way how to implement the job evaluation, coming with a different way. So our updated proposal, what it's doing is all staff benefit from it. Payment uh, to reflect a 2% salary increase in 2020, the payment will also reflect the 3% salary increase for, uh, retroactive from 2021 to 2023. 
and again 3% for 2024. That payment uh, would be done early 2025 uh, because of the time where we're at now, it would not be possible to execute it in December. But if we're able to close all negotiations in the coming days, we want to do it early, early 2025. Uh, what that would mean is a 7% overall salary increase for the job evaluation. As you remember, there's a 4% that has been prepaid since 2021. The big part of this, it would benefit 100% of the staff. Now, I also want to be clear, we're not abandoning the job evaluation. What we're doing is, in the previous approach, in order to move the company upwards, what we were doing is grabbing the people that were around the bottom and only moving those upwards. What this new proposal is, and sorry, in, in this proposal, as you can see, all of those that were already at the 100 percentile and, and above those areas, they wouldn't get anything. There would be no movement for them. What we're doing on this one is we part from the same basis, but because the general increases for everyone, everyone moves. Even those that are at 100 percentile, they would go above that scale, but still get that benefit. That is the proposal. But you say, what, what does this mean for me? So we've created a couple of examples. This would be the crane operator average salary for the last year since 2020 with the increase that we're saying, 2%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, they would be getting this for 2020, this for uh, 2021 upwards, to where to be paid in early uh, 2025, it would be 607,000 Jamaican dollars. Uh, just to compare to the previous offer, the payout for that offer was 532. That is crane operator category. There's another one, strat operator. And, and we're using this category because it's, it's a lot of people in those categories. They represent almost 30% of the terminal. Uh, in the strat category, same exercise, average salary since 2020, same percentage. And what is the payout per year? It's a total payout of 567,000 Jamaican dollars. Now, what is the big difference with this one? Because this one is one of those positions that was not gonna get anything, even if we went to a hundred percentile. So this one is going from zero or only a three week bonus to 567 that it's almost equal to two month bonus and the carryover of the salary going forward in your next years. Um, that is on top of any other negotiations that we're, going to, that we're gonna be having for salary increases in 2025, 2026 and onwards. Guys, I uh, wanted to put this video out so everyone understands where we're at. This is one of the ways that we found that the company has found to do something right to do something right for our people, to make it to where everyone benefits from it. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free. Uh, we just wanted to, for everyone out there to have the same information. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. So my wisdom warriors, on to hear what I'm say, on to just tell me what you think and put it in the comment section anywhere. A search is now underway for five prisoners who escaped custody from the Barnet Street Police Station in St. James on Saturday, December 14. The prisoners reportedly escaped between the hours of 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. My wisdom warriors, who now hear all the nonsense, you know? Hmm? Five, you know? Five prisoners escaped from St. James lockup. So, so, so where did the police officer them did there? Hmm? Where was the officers? The whole of them, the officers, we did the on duty. They need to get fire. The whole of them. The whole of them, my wisdom warriors, I strongly believe them forget fire. Hmm? Which part them did they? How them, how them allow five prisoners if you escape? How did that happen? That more than life, you know. How did that happen? Hmm. 
Lord God. When I think for me, I think my wisdom warriors. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I wonder if I them let them out. Eh? Because this no this not sit well with me at all. This really not sit well with me. I wonder if I them let them out. Because something not right about this. Something not right about this, my wisdom warriors. Five of them escaped. So where was the police officer? Where was the police officer? My wisdom warriors, wanna tell me what I think. When me get more information, me will come and update you guys. Put on an honest opinion in the comment section. Like up the video, share it out, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My people, run go over to my other page, subscribe, and get me to 5K. Tell a friend, tell a friend about Atafa the Press. Blessings upon blessings. One love.